Tech keys and tech ads, what's going down? I know it's been a good second since I've been around. No frowns, let's go ahead and push forward. My name is Mac here at the MacGyver 7 channel, and today we're going to be covering a lot of smiles as we go through the adrenaline software. We'll be covering some patch notes, some benchmarks, going over what is good. And let me let you in on a little secret. This driver is pretty sweet. Scores do not lie, and I'm very impressed with it as 2022 starts to steamroll with AMD. So, if you're newer to the network, hit the subscription button, accompany with the notification bell, and let's go ahead and scroll into the technological news. So many new games coming onto the market. You have Dying Light, God of War, Horizon, and even Vulcan is getting a refresh. They have a very cool roadmap that details within February everything that they're going to be going into. So there's some significant cool stuff that you guys and gals are definitely going to be getting a cool peek into for the near future. Well, let's join back over with the fixes that came into it. Fortnite definitely got a cool polish up for the DirectX 12. There was some very interesting color issues within characters when utilizing the 6700 XT. Now, Cyberpunk, which has always been a little punk with patches, has definitely been one of the hotter portions that you'll see on a lot of gaming patch notes. Uh, right now, this one definitely is detailed for the RX 570. It's going to help out with some people that are appearing into darker areas um, near the doors and indoors. So you'll be able to hopefully see a little bit better in the near future. It's a known issue they're fixing. On top of that, shutters, lower than expected FPS, values that may experience some users when playing in God of War because it's just that raw when you play it. The game is amazing. But specifically within the 6900 XT were some issues. The enhanced sync has been an issue longer than I can remember, even with having an absence of two patches, it's still on the list. Temporary workaround, again, is to temporarily turn it off. It sucks, one day. Radeon performance also comes down to the metrics log, which is another unsung hero that continues to join the list, as we see here, that they expected higher incorrect memory clock values, which happens to be on a lot of graphics cards. I've seen it on the Radeon 7, I've seen it on just a variety of AMD cards. It seems to be almost their calling card for AMD sometimes, but it doesn't affect it in a bad way. Personally, myself, I've noticed it runs well. You just gotta tune it. AMD is all about tuning. And speaking with the transition into the segue of scores, with fine tuning comes a ridiculous amount of cool pixels. As you can see right over here, we are joined on the Fire Strike side, 1080p DirectX 11. We have our brand new driver on the right and our old driver, which is the 22.1.2 on the left, with our new one of the 22.2.1 on the right. With this being said, you can see that there are a few things that I want to point out. The physics score definitely trumps everything inside of this situation when you look at where it goes to graphics score versus the actual combined score but that's not always the ends meet yes this does give us a nice little boost in 1080p department but the other scores are even more impressive as you can see over here as we go to the more heat of the extreme portion of 1080p the graphics stars start lining up you have the physics scores being almost dead center and your combined scores going above and beyond so it's like they're almost telling you to push your system a little bit more because your graphics card and the driver like it. Because this trend continues up that DirectX 11 trail all the way to 4K. But what does DirectX 12 show us? With beautiful scores all around, you start to see that yes, it is something that definitely in 1080p, DirectX 11, DirectX 12 shows a lot of healthy improvements. With the final portion of us reaching down the 4K department at the extreme portion of DirectX 12, you can see that it definitely fights to keep that contending portion. And what does that mean at the end of the day? We've cleared our patches, we've gotten a brand new arsenal of games. Seems to be the drivers are being panned out in 2022 besides a few different hiccups that we've seen throughout the entirety of AMD's career with making graphics cards, which isn't a bad thing. They're not game ending situations. I like to think that it's the diamond in the rough, the fine wine that ages well with time. That is what AMD has always been good at. So I will continue to cover them. If you are brand new to the network, you can always like, share, and subscribe. If you are having an issue with the driver install, I definitely recommend taking a look at some of the videos up above. There's a DDU that definitely will help you fix your graphics card to make it like day one again when you took it out and put it into the PCIe slot the very first time. 
Yes, it is surprising what will happen sometimes once you clean up the dirty mess of what your graphics driver will leave behind sometimes. And your graphics company doesn't want you to know this because they want you to buy another one. So, always thermal paste your stuff about once or twice a year, maybe about every two years the most extreme, and make sure that you're doing DDUs every so often periodically when you're noticing issues within drivers in order to have a clean base set. So, my name's Mac again. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscription button. Join the fun channel as we all journey towards newer technological advancements and news together. Later.